guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are you, Aries? Well, we're hot on the heels of the eclipse. And today brings um, a nice, lovely alignment between Venus and staple Saturn. So if you're committing to happier times with the people in your life, pledge that out loud, shall we? Okay. I am pulling from Gateway of Light Activation to activate the reading. Here we go. Let's see what's coming through for you today. Toth Light Codes, Light Initiation, Great Teacher Awakening. Not so coincidental that I mentioned Saturn. Saturn is the great teacher. Divine Magic. Yes. The Toth Light Codes, Light Initiation, Great Teacher Awakening. Ooh, and in conjunction there with that Venus energy. Nice. Sets off a nice energy for the weekend, right? So let's jump in. Do remember, this is a general reading, not a personal or private reading, so it may not resonate for everyone. Take what speaks to you, leave the rest. I do offer private readings. The link is always below every video, and it will take you to the booking page. Yes, yeah. so um, keep in mind that even though this is a reading for Aries, I could be speaking directly to a cross-watcher, so do... Um, keep that in mind, meaning that the energies can come through reversed. I'll pull the spread. I'll give you my general impressions. We'll get details from the clarifiers. Here we go. Ooh, we're opening up um, with the Queen of Cups. So we're in consideration of our heart. And what's challenging us or crossing us is mm, there may be some complacency here. There is a challenge with regard to um wish fulfillment right and if if our wishes are not being fulfilled it may be because there's some complacency lurking with regard to commitment since that's what's come at the root of all of this in the past taking things one step at a time maybe learning something new in this connection what's really on our minds though ten of cups Yes, um, wanting that fulfillment, right? Sometimes, you know, <laughs> we we're, we get to this point where someone's kind of like, but aren't things good, you know, don't think, you know, isn't this working for you? It feels good to me. And we're like, no, I want more. I want my happily ever after. And so that's what we're really looking at here, Aries. And in the near future, part, pardon the little zoomies going on behind us. That is Leo, in case you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, yeah, the moon in the near future, there may be some, you may need to t sort of batten down the hatches and trust your intuition because a lot of things may be playing out behind the scenes where you can't see them. And so instead of going into that realm of, in, you know, fears and securities being triggered or apprehensive, you may need to rely on your intuition. Okay, here we go. Let's get some clarity. Queen of Cups crossed by the Nine of Cups. Yeah, because this is a very special sacred connection. But for some reason, we're hung up somewhere. There may be some stagnancy, um, right? But something tells you. That's why we're getting to the intuition. Something tells you this feels like the love of my life could be the one. And uh, with the Lover's card there, the Lover's card is a card of choice. And so we go back to that theme of what you choose needs to also choose you. And um, if you didn't yet watch, you might want to watch the, la the last Aries reading because that whole series of readings in the second half of September was dedicated to sort of um, past relationships, the, the lessons we're here to learn from them, the baggage we carry, etc. And there were in almost all the readings some kind of a message around that, that theme of choice. And when we're not chosen, when, when, when we choose something that doesn't choose us back and what we internalize about that. So I'm getting a feeling that there's a very sacred connection here that your heart is open and available for, but there's some complacency on, on this person's part, and so things aren't really moving forward. They may just be kind of 
you know, at, 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 in a holding pattern of some sort, um, in limbo even. But you know there's something special here and that's what the root of it is, is in your unconscious awareness, there are themes around commitment, long-term, possibly even marriage, some of you are thinking. Mm -hmm. So now we have the king and queen of cups um, and the questions around equal give and take, reciprocity, generosity. Is this person in fact emotionally available for what it is that I want, for the happiness that I envision? And deep down inside, maybe on some deep hidden level, you are aware that this person has some fears and limitations. This is Saturn ruled, right? Because the devil is associated with the sign of Capricorn and Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. And so there are always some restrictions and limitations and fears when we see that. And I'm, I'm not seeing the devil in this particular part of the reading as anything nefarious because for you, it's part of what this will become. It's part of like a, uh-oh, something doesn't feel right here. If this person is kind of holding me, you know, keeping me at bay, that hanged man nine of cups theme of, this person's just kind of saying, well, you know, aren't, aren't things going well enough for you? Don't you? I kind of like it as, thing, as it is. And you're thinking, well, I'm not now sure if this is what I thought it was because now we're in this weird holding pattern. And what you really want is this beautiful energy of emotional completion. Like we're moving on, we're moving forward with something. We're heading to, to something more committed, long lasting, long term. And this devil is only representing deep seated uh, rumblings in the belly of, uh oh, danger Will Robinson. So I'm not seeing it as a person or ill intent, I'm seeing it as that signal that you're getting a red flag beginning to sprout. So let's see the page of pentacles in the past. Yeah, so this is, this is just feels um, like as you were taking some baby steps, maybe learning here, um, feeling the romance, feeling a weight lifted off your shoulders with regard to this connection, it seems like this is when things were newer in the connection or when maybe there was a new phase in the connection, when there was a little more emotional vulnerability or expressions, um, demonstrations of love or affection. It felt like, whew, okay, now we're talking. But since then, and that's why we have the Queen and King of Cups here, is we're already evolved to that level, but I feel that things have hit a plateau. It has plateaued, and that may be what has you concerned. Here's your concern reg registering in the deepest, darkest recesses of your mind and psyche, okay? Ten of Cups, Conscious Awareness. Right, what you're really thinking about is can we overcome all that because I really think we could have it all. Right, the brass ring, ding, ding, ding. We have a winner, the confetti cannons and everything. And there it is, temperance underneath. I'm just gonna go with the flow. I'm just gonna kind of stay steady and level. I'm gonna stay balanced. I'm gonna just kind of understand that in time, all the energies, eventually come into flow and balance. So temperance is self-control and restraint. If you're here as the Aries, and I don't care what placement it is, it's not gonna be your strong suit, but I like that it's here because it says, I believe we can overcome these challenges. I believe that we can help each other. So in a conscious way from the top of the deck, you're, you're like, I'm still moving forward with this belief that we can overcome what's starting to kind of creep into my bones as, uh-oh, 
right? But for those who are new, when I'm pulling from the bottom, I'm tapping in unconscious awareness or something playing out behind the scenes. So also these two cards being from the bottom of the deck are kind of like a tug of war. Um, so for every minute that you've got that little red flag poking you, you've got that, yeah, pipe down. I'm just going to wait and see because these are the other cards from the bottom of the deck that are in contention, that are supporting that temperance energy. So in the near future, we have the moon. So you could go into worry fury land where all you do is pick your cuticles and you know, twist your hair and oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um, or you can sort of allow your intuition to guide you and put a lid on the worry um, and really focus on sort of something more co-creative. Three of Pentacles is talking about cooperation, being on the same page at the same time. And your best approach is something really diplomatic. Really diplomatic, really level. This is Libra. We're in Libra season. So I'm feeling this is kind of very current. Um, you know, really come from your intuition, your that spidey sense that you have that says, this isn't going to serve me. I need to kind of keep it together. Stay level-headed. Stay very balanced. Come from... Um, an approach of whatever's going to keep the harmony. And I don't mean keep the peace if there's drama going on, right? But if there's no drama, don't start none, won't be none, would be a good mantra. But aim for cooperation, aim for co-creation, aim for being sure that you're not talking past each other. Okay, so yeah, I can see a little worry in the future, but I can see that moon is, you know, it's, it's very threatening because it's what we can't see and it, it's triggering, but use it. It's also our intuition. It's our emotional, the emotional side of us that sort of we can, um, you know, we can tell ourselves there's something scary or we can tell ourselves a different story. That's what I think you have an option here in the near future. And what will help you is what I'm going to explore in the extended is everything from this King of Cups point of view. Okay, so that's what we're going to do in the extended is sort of see how they're negotiating the situation and um, their feelings and their intentions, etc. So if you want to kind of head off the anxiety and the worry, that may be a way to get a little bit of insight into their, you know, what they're thinking and it will, might take the edge off. The links to that are below. Be sure you know that the link one is for a monthly renewal. Link two is the one and done extended for this reading only, okay? And then there's the all access pass to all the extendeds and everything that I do on this channel. So those are your options. And if you have enjoyed this reading and other readings, I did the um, October monthly energy update. That's already up. I did the uh, Libra new moon with the eclipse reading. That's been up. So if you missed them, check them out. If you've been enjoying them and you have not yet done so, please do subscribe to the channel below. That's my ask. That's what we're here to do is all of us readers are here to kind of enter into an energetic exchange. You watch our free content and then you subscribe. Um, click the little bell so you get notified and we'll keep bringing you our content. Thank you very much in advance. Okay, here's the astrology that showed up. Queen of Cups is Cancerian energy. The lovers is Gemini. The hanged man is Neptune, which rules Pisces. We have Taurus in the Hierophant. The King of Cups is associated with Scorpio. The devil is Capricorn. Um, Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Knight of Cups is Pisces. We have the strength card is the Leo. Temperance, Sagittarius, the moon is um, Pisces, and Libra is justice. Headed to the extended. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.